I will not apologize. I am not Savarkar. This is what Rahul Gandhi told the media when asked if he would apologize for the remarks that got him disqualified as Lok Sabha MP. This obviously hasn't gone down well with the BJP and Shiv Sena, both Uddhav Thakre and Eknath Shinde factions. The ardent devotes of Veer Savarkar and supporters of his Hindutva ideologue. The Shiv Sena leader Uddhav Thakre, in very clear words, warned Rahul Gandhi that he considers Veer Savarkar as his idol and any attempts made by him to demean Savarkar will create cracks in the opposition alliance. He even asked Gandhi to not get provoked and refrain from insulting him again. Savarkar is our idol and his insult will not be tolerated. Savarkar suffered unimaginable torture in the Andaman cellular jail for 14 years. We can only read the sufferings. It is a form of sacrifice, he added. Even the BJP took a jibe at Gandhi when Union Minister Anurag Thakur denounced his words, saying, You can never be Savarkar even in your best dreams, because being Savarkar requires strong determination, love for Bharat, selflessness and commitment. Vinayak Damodar Savarkar was a staunch nationalist who spoke and worked relentlessly in favour of and with the target to integrate all of the South Asian subcontinent which was divided over the years into Akhand Bharat. He was sentenced to 50 years imprisonment in Kala Pani, or the cellular jail in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, where he faced unimaginable physical and mental torture. And after 10 years, he was later shifted to Ratnagiri prison. But this did not deter him from his goal. If anything, it made him stronger.